guys, it's your main man, actually I'm bringing you guys some more Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we made it to Pokemon League, and today we are going to take on the uh, Pokemon League. So, let's go ahead and do that. But, a sudden attack of our best friend, and we got a last rival battle, or uh, quotations, last battle. So, he's going to start off with Star Raptor. Level 48, normal flying type, has the ability Intimidate, as you can see there, and has the attacks, close combat, aerial ace, steel wing, and U-turn. So immediately I am at disadvantage because I wasn't really ready. Alright, so I better switch into Shock Shunya here because it's the best thing to take this thing on. So yeah, electric types for the win, but it does have close combat, so please watch out for that. Of course, it's gonna use the aerial ace, it's gonna do jack shit. So let's go for the Thunderfang. And now it just goes for the U turn here. And decides to go back to itself. Pussy, running away. Alright, so he switches straight into his legendary Pokemon. No, he's a. His Stara Pokemon, his strongest Pokemon. Torterra, level 51, grass ground type. Has the moves Leaf Quake, Le Leaf Quake, Leaf Storm, Earthquake, Crunch, and Synthesis. If you chose Turtwig, he will have Infernape, level 51, Fire Fighting type. Has the moves Flame Thrower, Focus Blast, Shadow Crawl, and Aerial Ace. And if you chose Chimchar, he will have Empoleon, level 51, Water Steel type. Has the attacks Brine, Aerial Ace, Metal Claw, and Shadow Claw. So I'm going to switch out, obviously, because I don't want to take an Earthquake on this thing. So expecting the Earthquake, I want to switch into High. And because I am in the sky, this is going to affect me at all, which is fantastic. So now I'm just going to fly high into the sky. Yeah, like a G6. And now he's just going to go for the Crunch here. Well, I'm not really scared. This is kind of an epic match. Oh crap, now I'm nearly dead. Ow, that kind of hurt. Okay, so Fly's not doing that much damage, so he's probably going to go for another crunch. So, this gives me the chance to switch into Blaze and actually take this guy out with a flamethrower or something. Yep. Kind of expecting him. Come on, you can take that. So now I'm just gonna go for a flamethrower and hopefully take this thing out. It's gonna be great. I, I, I could have switched out earlier, but I was being stupid. Anyway, so Terra is down for the count, and because three, three Pokemon win this battle, it, so now he's gonna switch into a Swipzel. So now I'm going to switch into, obviously, my Shox Jr. Because I can take on a freaking Floatzel. Anyway, so, at this point he's going to have Floatzel, level 41. Level 40, no, level 47, sorry. Level 47, Water type, has the attacks, Aqua Jet, Crunch, Ice Fang, and Brick Break. Uh, he will also have which will not be in this battle. Uh, if you chose Chimch, no. If you ch yeah, if you chose Chimchar, he will not have. No, yeah. If you chose Chimchar, and he has that Empoleon, he will have Rose Rage instead. Level 47, Grass Poison type has the attacks: Poison Jab, Giga Drain, Shadow Ball, and Grass Whistle. Sorry about that. I was just babbling for some weird reason, and somehow he's lost me. Okay then. Thunderfang! Who will bite harder? I do. Because I am an electric type. Thunderfang does more damage. But hey. So, uh, yeah. Great. So now he's gonna switch into a Snorlax. And he has Snorlax no matter which Pokemon you choose first. So I'm gonna switch into Sugi. Because being a fighting type is going, this is going to be great. So now he switches into a Snorlax, level 49, normal type, has the attacks Body Slam, Crunch, Earthquake, and Rest. So he finally, so he's finally evolved that uh, that uh, uh, Munchlax into a Snorlax. 
but it's not gonna matter because I'm just gonna take this out and hopefully he will not crit me or paralyze me and that did a lot of damage. Okay, drain punch to the face, mother. Ah, that should take it out, hopefully. Yep, that took it out. What a great and Surugi is back to full health. That is great. Fantastic, Surugi, fantastic. So now I'm gonna switch back into Slaraptor. I've already explained what Slaraptor's um, attacks are. So I am at this point going to switch back into Shock Jr. And uh, he's gonna cut my. But we both have Intimidate, so. We're on equal levels at this point. And I'm just gonna go for another. See that con. There's that. Close combat. Wow. Let's go for a Thunder Fang. Hopefully, take this thing out. Because it. It is at minus one defense, so I should be able to take it out with one Thunder Fang. But I don't, which is quite unfortunate. But I'm just gonna heal up at this point because I can't really take another hit. So let's go for another four stall and get back to full health. Fantastic. So now he goes for an aerial ace trying to take me out, but it's unfortunate for him. I'm not gonna be taken out by such a feeble move. He's at a range now, which any move could take him out, so I'm just gonna go for the spark here as he goes for another close combat. But uh, he's not gonna take me out, obviously, because Shock Jr. is one bulky ass motherfucker. So, yeah, that would take him out. He's gonna switch into his uh, Heracross. So, um, hmm, Heracross. Who should I switch you into? Let's go into high. High. So next is going to be high. Level 48. Buff fighting type. Has he moves. Close combat. Rock slide. Night slash and aerial ace. So uh, obviously. He's going to go for the night slash here. Ow. Oh, come on. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. I know it's super effective. But take that. No you can't. Probably if I was here. A higher health range I could have taken that much more better I guess but let's switch back into blaze and hopefully we'll be able to take this thing out with a flamethrower he's gonna go for the close combat here which is gonna do a lot of damage because I know they do that and it's that's quite unfortunate okay so this thing is kind of wrecking like a bit of my team here so now I think I'm going to switch into Tooth because Tooth is just overpowered and I should be able to take it out with a Dragon Claw or maybe not I don't know but it's stabbed so it should do something actually I do take it out with a Dragon Claw that is great fantastic Tooth you've done well so now he's gonna switch into his Rapidash his last Pokemon, Rapidash, level 47, Fire type, has the moves Fire Blast, Sunny Day, Bounce, and Will Wisp. So let's just finish this up with an Earthquake because that is how we roll. And that will be the end of the match. So, uh, good play there. You were able to take out two of my Pokemon, but uh, in the end, you know, it matters that I was overpowered. Yay, Tooth gained a level. And we did it. We defeated our rival for the last time in the uh, main game. So yeah, you'll be able to fight him after in the post game, but I will not be covering that just yet because we still got some business to do. So let's heal up a Pokemon because, my friends, it is finally time to enter the Pokemon League and defeat the Elite Four and finish this game off for good so 
let's talk to the guy. Confirm that you qualify for the Pokemon League. So let us. Orba Coal Badge. Eterna City's Forest Badge. Half Home City's Relic Badge. Bellstone City's Cobble Badge. Pastoria City's Fen Badge. Canalave City's Mine Badge. Snowpoint City's Icicle Badge. And Sunny Shore City's Beacon Badge. We have all eight. And now we are allowed to go inside. So now we will take on the incredible power of the league in the next episode. So I'll see you guys later for some more Pokemon Platinum. See ya.